for mushroom soup, and this is nice because it's, it's like right from scratch. You want to start off with one pound criminy mushrooms and one pound button mushrooms. Button, criminy. It's nice to have a little mix because it adds a variation in texture and color. And uh, you might even think about getting some dried mushrooms. Uh, two or three ounces of your favorite dried mushrooms, even Chinese black mushrooms, you can put in a nice cheesecloth. Wrap it with a little kitchen twine, and you can put it in the dish along with the fresh, and it intensifies the flavor quite a bit. So think about that. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's just a little idea I thought I'd put in your head. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the mushrooms. First, get the stem. And this is rather big, so you'll want to cut that, throw it in your pot. Now, this little mushroom, you can get about 10 slices out of this, and you'll want to try for at least 10. And so what we're going to do is the first cut, just do a little. I actually did more than 10 there. See that? It goes right in the pot. Now, same thing. Every two or three mushrooms, make a cut first, cut it in half, and then that way you have a little variation. And basically, two pounds of mushrooms, that's a lot of mushrooms. So if you have a little friend, that likes to cook, this is a good time to ask that friend for a little favor. It's actually quite uh, relaxing and uh, kind of a stress reliever. All right, we've cut forward to the end product. I've cut about two million mushrooms. Uh, this container is about five and a half quarts. Uh, you want something around five, five and a half. Uh, if you get something too big, you're going to water the sucker down. It's not going to taste very good. So basically, here's what you want to do. Very, very basic. We're going to fill this sucker up until it's about maybe an inch from the top. That's about three, three and a half quarts. We'll do that right now. All right, here we go. As you can see, yeah, about an inch, inch and a half from the top. Notice I've put nothing in this, nothing at all. This is the way it's going to stay for the first half of the cooking. So I'm going to light this baby up after I pick the right burner. And what you're going to do Bring this to a moderate boil. Then you're going to turn it down so that it's either at a very low simmer, I mean low simmer, or it's so low that what you see is a little steam coming off, but not much else. In fact, you don't even notice much of a boil. We've waited about roughly, remember, depending on the heat, two and a half, three hours. Uh, the mushrooms have cooked down to about halfway, a little less than half. Uh, the more you cook it, the more concentrated the broth will be and the tastier it's going to be. Notice the nice brown broth. Beautiful. You know you're doing it right when you see that. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, this is the time we actually add something to make it taste um, like more than just mushrooms and broth. We're going to get a quarter cup of finely cut celery and we're going to dice this baby up, potato, uh, finely. I'll do a little celery. For this dish, really that's all you need. And that's a little large. I like to do, uh, I work at home normally in my other job, so I love recipes like this because I can put this on low and 
go do my job, come back in a couple hours and add some ingredients. Let's do the potato now. This is a lot of potato for this, so let's, let's not do that. So. You want it as fine as you can get it. Notice how, you probably can't notice this, you can almost see through these babies. For they're, they're almost translucent. All right, that's good. Okay, now, now that I've completely nuked this uh, desktop, let's get some spices. We have roughly teaspoon of salt. We have about a quarter teaspoon of uh, onion powder. Onion powder, not onion salt. Fresh ground black pepper. When I say fresh ground, I mean fresh ground. <laughs> Don't buy the stuff in the store that's already ground for you. It's gonna have no effect on this dish. You can't believe the difference fresh ground will actually make. Makes all the world in the difference. About a teaspoon of thyme. Thyme. <laughs> now don't get all hung up on these proportions. Um, Broncooks.com, free website. Get all the recipes that you're seeing today. So don't worry about it, just relax. Watch the show, take it all in. You can always get these later. There we go. Now here's what we're gonna do. We'll let this cook, uh, you know, not really low, like a low simmer for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Okay, we're back. It's been an hour, hour and a half-ish. Uh, it's time to thicken this baby and it's done, ready to eat. So here's what you want to do. You get about five tablespoons of cornstarch. You put a little water in it enough where as you stir it, it starts to get soupy, not pasty. When you get to the soupy stage, that's where you want it to be. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna very carefully pour enough of this in here in the boiling soup to thicken it to your own taste. Um, I'm not really much of a super thick pea soup kind of guy, so I like it just on the, on the thin side. But um, basically, it's very easy. Remember this, this is very hot. As Soon as this touches this, it's gonna wanna lump up. So you wanna stir vigorously when you add it. Add like half at first, see how you like that. Now, if you were to eat this right now, you'd get a little starchy taste. The starchy taste will cook off a couple minutes tops. So what you want to do is, is let it boil pretty good. You'll start to see the starch thicken. If it's good enough, stop right there. If not, just add a little starch. And that's uh, homemade mushroom soup. Thanks.